athlete from Boulder, Colorado. Welcome, Rebecca Hammond! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Josh Chase. It's Matt B. Davis covering the semifinals of Hildervat. We got the women starting off at 1130, a little more than 10 minutes. We got the men coming up right afterwards. If you were with us for the first round, you saw some great competition for the women. Making it into the semifinals, we got Nicole Miracle, Lindsay Webster, Rebecca Hammond, and face standing looked to be filling in that fourth position until the final rig uh, where she ended up dropping off after a couple of attempts. And Alex Walker swooped in with grip strength and smooth sailing through the rig and uh, landed that fourth spot. So for the finale, the top two finishers in today's semifinal wave are going to move on to tomorrow's finale uh, for the grand prize of $5,000. I will have... Uh, let me kick Matt off the stream for a second while he gets everything sorted out. So we're excited to bring you the semifinal coverage here in just a couple of minutes. We have uh, our camera person setting up across the course. Uh, Nick Riker was our camera person this morning, went out and won the relay today. So tons of excitement at uh, Hildervat and Jacksonville Beach. For the men making it into the semifinals, we have Ryan Atkins, Ryan Woods, Ryan Kempson, and VJ Jones rounding out the top four. Uh, so those four guys cruise through the course on the first round. Top two finishers will be making it through to tomorrow's finale for round two. So I want to say thank you to everybody that tuned in for the first time. We had well over 300 people watching us live at one point. Super excited to have everybody on for today's uh, event and appreciate all the donations that everybody has sent in. Appreciate everything you guys have contributed uh, in the chat. Hopefully you're getting some exciting coverage and uh, you're looking forward to what's coming next. So let's take a look once again at what we're in for here today. So Hildervat is a looped course, three miles. They do the loop three different times and then they finish with a final rig, that ring with the toilet paper handholds that we saw. Uh, so we're going to have all the coverage for you throughout the course today. Matt will be on in a second just to uh, take us off with the start of these waves and Prize money, right? Big money They're in hand. They're starting early, Josh. They're starting early. They're starting oh, no. early. This is what we do. They just started. Uh, yeah, so they're just going for it. Should have Nick out there on the cam. I have, I have Nick out here. Let's add Nick to the stream. Nick will be kicking in in a second. He's getting his camera loaded up. Maddie, they're out on course already. I said they started early, dude. They're just firing away, my friend. I'm waiting for we're, Nick we're, to get his camera fired up. Why is Nick not fired up? Yes, Nick is fired up and ready now. Go get him, Nick. Go get him. <laughs> you notice they are going out very relaxed this first lap. They're just going to stick together and that's a pack. And then. I'm going to mute Matt for a second here. So the four girls, again, Alex Walker, Lindsay Webster, Nicole Miracle, Rebecca Hammond, onto the first rig. It looks like Alex Walker was out of that rig first, making a statement, getting out in front. There are some amazing athletes out here on, uh, on this round. So they're into the rope climb. We got Nick Riker covering the uh, – um, I think there's going to be a problem when – there's a pedestrian beach here, and that's where they're going to run. So we'll have to find that out. Well, just more obstacles for the uh, for the women out on course today. So the pedestrians are set up on the course. So these uh, these women are just going to be running through groups of pedestrians out there. Nicole is donning the sunglasses for round two here this morning. So hopefully, trying to keep the sun out of her eyes. So, again, we've got uh, the semifinals here kicking off a little bit early. For the women, we got Nicole Miracle uh, that you can see here over on the left. Rebecca Hammond running stride for stride with her. We got Alex Walker and Lindsay Webster rounding out the four women in the semifinals. And, again, top two finishers move on to tomorrow's semifinals. 
Nick, what would you say? Uh, what would you say the pace is for the girls so far on this lap? I'm running a six flat pace via my watch. Six flat on the stand, Jacksonville Beach. Nick, is Lonnie out there with the bucket? I don't see her out here. So we're seeing a lot more, uh, a lot more beach goers slash spectators, whether they hey, want to be spectators or not. They're spectators now. Real quick, just want to make sure Nick heard that. Nick, when they come back to the rig after the bucket, you can stop there, okay? All right, hope you heard that. I have people throwing axes behind me. Be safe, Matt. Safety is our number one priority. It absolutely is. So yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have um, we're gonna have uh, Emily. Is it Emily? <laughs> we're gonna have Emily at the rig and the and the hoist, and then I'll take over uh, down here. Got it. For the uh, the come around and the turnaround. So Nick can save his, uh, save his legs, save his legs. He's still got to do a, uh, a jog with me later before updating the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Riker's team won the team relay elite heat. They won $600. That is uh, not a bad day in, in Jacksonville beach. So heading into the bucket carry for the first loop. So they're going to be doing this three times. So it looks like we've got Nicole in first, Rebecca Hammond in second, Lindsay Webster just a few strides behind. Nick, any eyes on Alex Walker at all there? Alex Walker coming into the bucket carry about 15 to 20 seconds behind. And uh, some added obstacles with the pedestrians. Oh, sorry, spectators. They're all here to see Hildervat and these professional <laughs> athletes. Uh, they're all on site to catch all of the action here. So uh, no high tide to worry about yet. So the girls are not running. The women are not running through uh, the ocean itself. That may be an issue later on this evening, but for the professional athletes, not a problem. So there is there is a large amount of pedestrian traffic on the beach that they're going to be avoiding here. So we may have some uh, human and man-made obstacles that they'll have to get over. We may have to be jumping over sandcastles at some point during the race. Who knows? So the girls are pushing a pace. Just looking at from when they started compared to coming back into the main section of the course on the first go round, uh, they're pushing a the pace right now. As Nick said, they're running about a six minute mile here. So Nicole out in front. I'm pushing about 5.30 on my watch here now. So they're really picking it up. So thank, God, th up. thank God he's gonna get a break. We're gonna save him for the men's semifinal as well. So as I said, we'll switch to uh, the M cam once we hit this, uh, this rig on the way back here shortly. So it's what Emily has the uh, the rig we're coming up to. The rig, yeah, we'll call it rig number two, I guess, for purpose of this race. So this is going to be the battle we saw in the first round, uh, and even interviewing the athletes afterwards, that a couple of them were uh, saving themselves and conserving energy. Uh, this is the one where they're going to be fighting for every second. All right, we we frozen there on the M cam. I got it, buddy. Don't worry. So we got uh, Nicole Miracle, who was putting on gloves for every lap of this one. Emily, if you want to jump right up to the rig, get in close there if you can. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So I was gonna say, get to where we get these people out of your out of your purview. There we go. Nice. There we go. There we go. Again, safety number one priority here. We've got uh, the women out on their first lap, and they're coming up to. This first rig here in just a second. Sorry, the second rig. The first rig is uh, Kempson Designs rig here. And Nicole Miracle, statement, statement run right now. Just out in front. Several strides ahead of the competition. And uh, she's not leaving anything to chance. She's getting as much of a lead. Looks like we got one. Ryan Atkins catching a jog in there. So Nicole and Rebecca 
into the first rig. Nicole threw it without any issue. Rebecca threw it without any issue. The grip strength from those two, I think, is propelling them through these rigs without any problems. Lindsay coming through. Takes an extra swing on the net. Hi, right, Josh. Just a couple seconds. All right, Josh. I got him here coming up on the beach. Kicking over to Matt here. So there's the axe throw you see on the left. The, the pro waves are not doing the axe throw, whereas uh, I believe the elite and opens are doing the axe throw. So Rebecca and now, I just Go ahead, Matt. I just want to point out, uh, <laughs> people are running very close to the pro ladies. I am, uh, I'm keeping a safe distance. They're going over the uh, they're going over the wall. That's uh, Nicole and first over the wall. She does have those gloves back on. Becca, Nicole just goes over with kind of a between a and there's a regular woman running the course. I'm not sure what she's doing, but it's her first race. Maybe they're saying. And there goes Becca. Took a little bit longer on that wall. So now let's see. There's a big gap here. Now I'm surprised, Josh. Lindsey Webster is not even in the picture right now. Alex is in third. Well, when I kick when I kick back to the rig, it looked like Lindsay was on the rig again. So if I'm guessing, she may have fallen off the rig. All right. So I'm just we're gonna have both here. We've got Alex coming right by me in third, followed by Lindsay. And over here, we've got uh, we've got Nicole first over. It's called Halo, I guess. It's the Halo cargo. Okay, net. we got we got we got we got uh, we got um, Ricky with a gimbal. Sorry, not Ricky. We got uh, switch. Yeah, you got it. You switched it. <laughs> So Ladies Nicole Miracle on to lap two, first into the Kempson design rig. And uh, gloves on again, and no issue at all. Rebecca Hammond coming through as well, getting to that vertical rope and through Rebecca's, it without any issue. Now did, she, did she struggle or she just decided to take it easy because she's sitting in second? No, it, it looked like she was, she was fine. I didn't see much struggle in her. She just took an extra second to make sure she had a grip on the, on the, the rope. That's for sure. So then okay. we got Lindsay and Alex Walker in the third and fourth position. Alex Walker going over the cargo net there for a second. Damn. Do we have uh, we have Nick out there now for the, uh, for the low crawl in the bucket or no? We got Nick out yes. there. We're watching switch, Rebecca switch do the rope to climb. Nick. Switch to Nick. There we go. Switching to Nick. So Nicole is back out for the run. This is the open part of the course. So this is where the girls are running from the rope climb. Sorry, the women are running from the rope climb. They have a couple small obstacles in between. They've got a low crawl in there, but this is the run all the way out to the bucket carry, uh, which is the fastest part of the course for these girls. They're running uh, six, uh, six pace, 530, as Nick was saying earlier. But Nicole making a statement out in front and uh, looking strong and looking fast. Wow, I can't imagine how hard the men are going to go. They are going to go hard. So we got Emily running behind, uh, looks like Rebecca Hammond in second place. We've got Lindsey Webster and Alex Walker in third and fourth at the rope climb. We have uh, Lonnie out here. Lonnie at the low crawl. Got it. All the cameras. All the cameras. I'll be at the start of the gauntlet once they come back. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. What we what we lack in gimbals, we do make up in teamwork, Josh. That is true. Uh, just pure qu uh, quantity over quality here is really what it comes <laughs> to. <laughs> Don't say that. Come on now. I know. I'm wondering if Lindsay's just out of race shape, as it were. You know what I mean? We know she's not as fast as Nicole, just flat foot speed, but I just didn't expect to see her this far behind. I wonder if she's just not quite, since the other girl, other women have been racing more lately, and she's just still kicking the rust off. Well, the other thing we see too is, you know, most of these athletes, we see them compete most often in Spartan events where grip and obstacle proficiency and your ability to get through an obstacle doesn't really differentiate you on the course. Uh, and now we're seeing races like Savage and like Hildervat here where your smoothness and your transitions through these obstacles can truly put you in a position where you gain time on the obstacles, right? We don't see that often with uh, some of the races that we follow. Correct. Yet Lindsay has done well at OCRWC, which has very challenging obstacles as well. Correct. 
So Lindsay and Alex in the third and fourth positions right now, side by side. We got Nick over by the uh, the bucket carry as first and second place should be coming to them shortly. Dr. L, great to see you on the stream. Thank you for tuning in. That's why we do it. All 200 plus of you watching live currently. Always happy to uh, bring you guys the coverage for the events. It's like every athlete right now has their own personal camera person. Peter asking, do we have a gap from Becca to third? We'll, uh, we'll get that for you as soon as we see him at the next obstacle. They're out running on the course right now. We got Emily yeah, I following. Would say, I would say, sorry, Josh. They, they have, Rebecca has over a minute or right at a minute. Yeah, it looked like a pretty place. solid gap. That's, that's, I, I, that's five, a minute. That's a lot. We gotta get a clock on that, Josh. I'll I'll be running it as soon as we uh, as soon as we get him to an obstacle. Ryan Joy, twenty to the Gimbal Fund. Thank you, Ryan Joy. Appreciate it, buddy. Look at this comment, Josh. <laughs> oh, I saw it, Brandon. <laughs> That's Hildervat released their power rankings yet. Well, the good thing about a six-person pro wave is that I think the power rankings are just simply going to match whatever the final standings are. That's what I'm going to go with, Josh. Unless somebody has some weird opinion otherwise, um, I believe I believe in the fourth or fifth place. The subtext will be because why not? So. <laughs> That's an inside joke, and if you don't get it, you should join the Discord. The website is bit.ly forward slash OCR chat. <laughs> Shameless plugs. But we got Nicole out front. Uh, Nicole looking strong and fast and uh, carrying gloves through the course. And as we see her come up on the, the rig here, this gauntlet section, she'll put those gloves back on to save her grip. And uh, I wonder if she does that into tomorrow's finale as well, if she makes it in. Does she worry about – putting gloves on while she's running or does she just go full send as the kids say nowadays and just go well i will i will definitely ask her after this race we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll chat with her real quick uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have michael garcia here for the second gauntlet here the mike garcia cam any moment now run woods run with spotting everybody loves a good woodsy spotting So Nicole donning the gloves, that's usually my cue to switch cameras. Appreciate that, Nicole, whether she realizes she's doing it or not. Go ahead and switch the start line one. But Nicole has – looks to be a solid 10 to 15 second lead over Rebecca. And at this point, this is lap two of these obstacles – I think, barring a slip-up, these two are in a strong position to move on. Look at that, skipping the ring. The efficiency through that obstacle, that was, that was to get through that obstacle from start to finish. Rebecca, too, just strong swings, start to finish. I'm going to say the third place lead is well over a minute. Yeah, Nicole looking strong and fast here, just cruising through the beach. I've got 15, sorry, 17 seconds between Nicole and Becca. I'm going to keep this clock running until they pass me again. Nick, you were right on that minute. I thought you over... Blah blah blah. Oh no! <laughs> Over blah blah blah. They are just like weaving and going through all these spectators. It's pretty funny. I don't even know who's got the who's got that camera by the by the. Is that Ricky? I mean, is that Michael Garcia? Yeah, that's following Nicole. Yeah, that is uh, Mr. Garcia. He's cruising okay. right along with her. 
getting photobombed. Just elbow that guy out of the way, Mike. I'm kidding. Please don't do that. Guys, we have a minute. We have a minute since Nicole went by. Wow. We knew Nicole is uh, is is the quickest out here. But wow, is she putting on a clinic, as they say. That is one of those sports cliches that they do say. So we got Nicole back onto Kempson's rig for the third and final time of this lap. The semifinals cruises through that rig again without too much issue. Yeah, remember, we've got that final rig. Could be problems. We still don't know. Right? Could, could, could is the big, the big if. I have got almost two minutes, Josh. We are approaching two minutes until since Nicole went by. And it looks like... Lindsay has, in fact, overtaken Alex. But neither, Switch neither, over to, but neither one of them is going to for on. first place. Switch to Nick for first place. Going back to Nick. So Nicole entering for the third time back out onto the running section of the course. Navigating the spectators slash beachgoers. Can she pick up a victory Topo Chico from one of the coolers on the way back? L Lindsay just ran by at 227 since Nicole went by, and Alex is now coming an additional 20 seconds behind, it looks like. Scott Lurg in the chat saying, would love to see how Nicole would do against the guys. Well, I'll tell you, we did see... Was it the Montana Spartan where they started both the men and the women at the same time, at least in the ultra, I believe. Uh, so we've been talking about that for some time, these staggered waves, right? Are they, uh, are they passe and unnecessary? Can we just put them all together in a single pro wave? And that's what we've been asking for. And maybe we see in the future. So appreciate everybody's comments, all 200 plus of you watching live on the YouTube. Appreciate all the donations that everybody has made. That helps us uh, produce more content like this and bring these events to you live. And, uh, looking forward to see how this one pans out. I am going to go ahead and head to this final rig so that uh, we'll have the great shot of this as they come through in the finish and then hopefully some post-race interviews. Good stuff. And then the We're men. Seeing... And then we still got the men to go. Still got the men to go. We're seeing the, the one, two... Women leaders here, Nicole in first, Rebecca Hammond right behind, navigating the gauntlet pedestrians. Good to see you. What's your name? Good to see you, dude. You're KC in the Discord? I got, I got KC in the Discord right here. Hey, what's up, KC from the Discord? Shout out. Kick back to the uh, to Nicole Miracle, our leader, coming into the bucket carry in just a little bit. And then it'll be turning around. Ashley R. with the $10 donation, the super sticker. Appreciate the support, Ashley. Always happy to bring you guys coverage from these events. Eric, such a shame we'll be losing Rebecca from the sport for a while. I don't know. We've asked her, is this your last event? And then she continues to show up at events. Uh, but, of course, having professional responsibilities certainly does take precedent at times, but she is also a great professional athlete as well. So she's uh, a wonder to have in the sport. Let's hope we do get to see her at some events throughout this year and in the future. Have we noticed, have we said Rebecca is the only one wearing gaiters out here to get no sand in her shoes? Have we mentioned that yet? <laughs> We haven't mentioned it, but Nick, you've been running back and forth. Are you are you picking up any sand? Are you having any issues with uh, your shoes? I'm not, because the VJ Ultras are pretty tight ankle locks. Shameless plug. <laughs> and they also are the best grip on the planet. No Nick, sand yesterday, in shoes. yesterday at the briefing, I noticed Nicole was wearing one shoe with Gator, one shoe without. She said she was testing it out. And uh, I guess she went with, uh, no, I wish she went with no Gator. Chrissy also contributing to the gimbal fund. I will just say to defend Matt, he does have gimbals. However, when you're running at a 5:30 pace, 
Uh, and maybe Matt's not running at a 5.30 pace. But there are times where Gimbal still can struggle a little bit. Well, John, Josh, we, 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 we had multiple issues, and we will discuss them all, as we always do, <laughs> on Davis and Chase, which you can hear every Tuesday. But listen, man, we get better at this thing all the time, and, uh, you know, stuff happens. It's what true. Can I say? Stuff happens. Jonathan Crawford, you guys should show more obstacles than running. Well, here's the thing, Jonathan. This is the running section of the course. So all the obstacles are generally packed into a small space. And once they complete that, they'll run out to the bucket carry, uh, which is a good probably half to three quarters of a mile. So while they're out there, we're going to cover them running, but we'll also have them on the obstacles as well. Luke notices there's a lot of sand. Uh, Luke calling out there is a lot of sand on the beach. I believe that is the truth. There's Lindsay passing by. She's on her way to the bucket. I'll be ready at the start of the gauntlet again. Thank you, sir. And then I got this final rig, so you don't have to chase them all the way down here. Copy that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now using radio uh, lingo, like copy that. That means I heard you. I believe after every statement now, we have to say <laughs> over, over. 10-4. Eric, uh, Eric Morin asking, Nick, does Nicole seem to be pushing or is she relaxed and cruising? What's your opinion there? Uh, Nicole is definitely relaxed. Uh, we dropped down to like a 720 pace. Um, so definitely relaxed. Rebecca is definitely relaxed as well. They got a significant lead. Javier, welcome to the feed, buddy. Welcome to the feed, Javier. Happy to have you here, sir. Welcome Javier, back. what's Javier? What is your twenty? Ashley R was joking, saying, "What's your 20? I really want to know, Javier. What is your twenty? Are you on a plane? Are you in Jacksonville? Where are you, Javier? Nicole coming into rig. So this will be the third and final rig for Nicole. Third and final version of this rig, that is. Then she'll be coming up on the final rig. Right. So Kempson, Kempson rig is number one. That's number two. And then this is number three. That's, that's the names we're going with. One, two, and three. Ah, very creative names. One, two, and three. <laughs> Nicole again for the third time off the rig and yeah, landed Becca coming up the rig. Oh, wait, wait. She just said, I will not be able to finish the race. Did you hear that? She just right. said, I will not be able to finish the race, Josh. Nicole landed awkwardly coming off that rig and is not putting any weight. Oh, this is, this is a rig. bummer, guys. Whereas Rebecca Hammond was in second place. Looks like she might have come off that rig. Guys, we're going to find out what happened with Nicole after the race. Obviously, we've got to keep the action now, but obviously a super fucking bummer as as now the final is wide open for Lindsay to come in uh, second. So Rebecca Hammond replaces Nicole in the first place position here. Coming into the final stretch. You want me to run back and get Lindsay? If you could, that'd be great. Please do. Okay. Matt, you're at the final rig? I'm at the final rig, and I see Rebecca is coming towards me. If whoever's running with her wants to stop, I got it. So we've got Rebecca Hammond coming in to the final rig here. Nicole, or Rebecca rather, going two-handed to keep the grip secure. Matt, what would you say the temperature difference is from this morning? Hotter? More humid? I'm going eight degrees. I think Emily has Lindsay right now. Uh, several right, people so ran back to tell her already. So, so Nicole finished. Sorry, uh, Rebecca is now finished. Rebecca's finished. Lindsay She's is moving on until to tomorrow. And 
Lindsay could secure a place in the finale if Nicole is out of the race. Josh, we've never we've never seen this in our sport. We've never seen a, uh, somebody pull out this late in a race. We've seen people pull out before, but I don't know if we've ever seen it this close to a finish. It was on when she hit the bell and came down. She landed on the bottom of the truss, and her left ankle, I think, popped. All right, we'll we'll uh, let things settle down. Make sure she's taken care of before we get an official medical report, as it were. So we got Lindsay coming through rig number two, as it's been dubbed. And switch to star line one if you want to see Lindsay. So well, she's the rig. Coming up to the hoist with just a few obstacles left before the finish. This is a good lesson in why you never want to give up, though. No matter she was two minutes behind. Remember I said that? Yep. And look, she's gonna she's gonna end up in second. It's not it's not ideal why she's going to end up in second, but it's it's why you should always keep going. Right. It's, you never know. You always finish the race. Looks like... Uh, I'm Alex coming back up to the second, uh, second break. So we've All got right. Lindsay coming over. I've got not uh, car game now, coming I'm, up to the final rig. Yeah, I got Lindsay right now, Josh. Whenever you're ready, right. I got Lindsay. Who's she's he's oh, she saw her take a big deep breath there. Big deep breath for Lindsay. Well we saw we saw a chicken wing this this rig the first time around. On, so do, do we see her do it again just to ensure we do? We can hear Ryan Atkins cheering around nice time. and smooth. Going with your hands. Take your time. Do it right. There we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Through. Start line one for Alex. Start line one camera for Alex. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and watch uh, those two women to finish. They secure their spot in the finals. Let's watch Alex come through. As uh, as Michael Garcia uh, runs towards me, you can switch over to me here, Yash. And the camera guy just landed himself in front of me. There we go. Rep repping Yancey Camp. She got it. Now let's walk her through that rig without too much of an issue at all. And there we go. That's our, that's our, uh, that's our, we got our, our top two women. So they're finished folks. The story here, Nicole Miracle, of course, led through the majority of the, the wave itself suffering what appeared to be a, a, a lower body injury, as they say in Stanley cup and football playoffs. Uh, we'll leave it at that. We won't make any assumptions, but we'll try and get you an official update in just a moment here but as we see what the finale for tomorrow looks like with rebecca hammond moving on and lindsey webster moving on to tomorrow's finale with uh nicole miracle nicole miracle presumably not finishing the wave and then alex walker coming in the third position for the semifinals uh, i want to know if if lindsey is going to have enough to uh um, oops, I lost the feed. You, you were with me, buddy? I got you, bud. Uh, I want to see if we can get a word from Nicole. Um, just if you want to go ahead and go back to what you're saying, Josh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, just, just summing it up, right? So we've got uh, Rebecca Hammond and Lindsay Webster aiming for the finale tomorrow, uh, vying for the $5,000 top prize tomorrow morning in Jacksonville. Uh, second place, of course, will take $2,000. Uh, 
Uh, third place, up to be Alex Walker at this point with $1,000. Uh, and then unknown as to where Nicole will fall if she's not finishing. Uh, but we got the men coming up here in just a minute. But we'll bring it to Matt. Let's see. Hey there. I was just trying to get a bit of an update from um, – for my main man here. Um, I, I, again, I don't want to speak out of turn, so we're not exactly sure if her foot hit the actual uh, bottom truss or, or something else, but we heard her on camera say immediately, I'm not going to be able to finish this race. So she clearly knows herself and her body well enough. Let's hope it's not anything you know permanent or, or damaging, but uh, um, it's a bummer. I mean, what else can you say, Josh? Yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, we just we we keep her in our thoughts. We keep well wishes in uh, front of mind, and uh, again, focus on tomorrow's finale. But of course, making sure that she's taking care of herself. We've seen some injuries this year that you never like to see, and uh, it's one of those things where we run on terrain that is not a track when it comes to obstacle course racing. So, footing can always be a question. Is it working? Yeah, but you have to have the app on your. Phone. I do. I do have the app on my phone. You still have battery for it? Yeah. How does your oh? Turn it off and then turn it back on. Okay. Make sure the camera's good. No, I actually left mine on after the first race. Hang on a second. Come on. Bam. Josh, you with me? I'm with you, buddy. So anyhow, Josh, big bummer. Um, here's a gimbal, guys. So suck it. People who say Matt doesn't have a gimbal. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, quick little side note. Little piece of obstacle racing news, Josh. Uh, one Mike Morris is here, looking very fit, shirtless. Uh, Shuri also from Spartan. There's a big wrestling event going on, Josh, here at the home of uh, obstacle racing in Jacksonville. They said there were literally thousands of people there. Yeah, the Spartan Spartan wrestling apparently is uh, the next big thing. So we saw pictures from some of it on their social media. And uh, Jacksonville, Florida, the home of obstacle course racing. Much like Indianapolis is the home of uh, indie racing and, and Coopersville is the home of baseball and Toronto is the home of hockey. Mm -hmm. Matt, if you could move the camera like more than one inch away from your chin, I think. I'm sorry. Uh, it. Josh, it's in fact Cooperstown, but then again, on brand for you and your bad sports takes. Well, only when it comes to baseball and basketball, Matt, because I'm not a fan of those sports. Okay. So it looks like they're in fact carting Lindsay off. You mean Nicole? They're carting Nicole off because Nicole and Lindsay are different people, and I know them Correct. all by name. Um, let's get a quick word with uh, Alex Walker uh, representing Yancey Camp. Is your camera turned the right way? Uh, Josh, give me one. Just turning the old. Go get him, BJ. We are not going to be able to do So we have lost Matt for the moment. Hey, Josh, they're actually starting the men, so yeah. we'll talk to you later, buddy. My cam is not coming on, Josh. I'm not sure what's happening. There we go. There we go, and I'm back. Okay, so they're starting the men now. I'm going to uh, turn the camera around. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around. One moment, please. Okay. Josh, yeah, Who, who's going through? I'm gonna go with no axe. Atkins and the third lap only. Now my predictions reflect Atkins and VJ, but yes. Kemper looked really strong that Three first times lap. On the hurdle. Yes. What? Atkins wants to do five laps. You got it. Ryan says let's do five. You down with that, BJ? Nah. He's <laughs> Three. Let's go three. Ryan, trying to get in your head. Gentlemen, this is to advance to the semifinal. To Will. On your mark. Hopefully set. 
Four, go out. Two will advance. Adding Mr. Riker to the stream. We'll be there in a second. But the four men are out on course. Ryan Woods, Ryan Kempson, Ryan Atkins. They make it real easy to remember their names because they're all named Ryan except for the fourth competitor, VJ Jones. And we're seeing Kempson and VJ, who are two obstacle proficient athletes, swing through that first Kempson rig in no time flat, followed very quickly by Atkins and Woods. And these two guys are going to push the pace, I can imagine, uh, especially with obstacle proficiency being paramount for them. Uh, these guys are, are just going to push this as fast as they can. So if we kick over to uh, Nick Riker, who is laying under somebody's watermelon umbrella, possibly just hanging out. Ian Hosick, you mentioned something at the start. I imagine Atkins' shirt is soaking wet. And I know there's a scientific reason for him doing that. I see him frequently dumping cold water on his head, on his legs. Give us the uh, mad wizard summary as to why they would do that if you could in the chat. But we got VJ out front here. Again, look at the kick. He's definitely pushing the pace already. We got Kempson right behind him. And I think this is going to be one of those races where you're going to have that lead person pushing as hard as they can and making the other guys keep up with them as we enter this first running section of the first lap of the Pro Men's Semifinals here at Hildervat 2021 on Jacksonville Beach in Florida. We have Matt back. I have Matt back, and I want to tell Mike if he can hear me that I've got the gimbal for him when he uh, when he comes back around for the swap. Because so I'm charging, I'm charging my battery right now. Charging my battery. So we got VJ Jones still leading the pack. A stride or two behind him is Ryan Kempson, and then a little ways back, we've got Atkins and Woods. And Eric Morin brings up a good point. Atkins has been in Canada for the better part of uh, COVID and quarantine, just making his way into the States just a couple weeks ago. And uh, are they acclimated to the temperature and weather that Jacksonville, Florida provides them? And that could be a question. You don't know. So the Mad Wizard, Ian telling us, super sunny and hot events – Keeping your shirt cool allows you to control body temp easier for longer as you can cool through evaporative cooling more than just standard sweating. And if you have not seen Ian's Mad Wizard videos on Instagram, do yourself a favor. I can tell you there are amazing visual aids to help even the simplest mind follow some very technical and scientific explanations. I know his visual aids certainly helped me. So the men are off and running. Woodsy's out there. These guys are kicking. I mean, it, Nick, if you had to guess a pace, what do you uh, what down, do you think of the pace is? I looked down running with VJ, and I was going five fifteen a little bit faster. Um, so he's really kicking. Obviously, much faster than the first time around. <laughs> well, they're going to run out to the bucket carry. They're running a five fifteen pace out on the sands of Jacksonville Beach, Florida. I would say Atkins is about. 10 seconds, 12 seconds behind, Kempson dropping off their bucket. And here comes VJ and Kempson. So VJ in the lead still. as they navigate all the pedestrians and the spectators on gorgeous Jacksonville beach. By the way, if you're in the area and you want something to do after the race, if you're looking for a little excitement, you can find some amazing shark's teeth along the Jacksonville beaches, wander South a little bit, nice little uh, tourist trap, go find some shark's teeth, take home some souvenirs. Steve best with a $10 donation to the stream. Appreciate it. I believe it's Dr. Best. Is that right? Uh, that donation was for double lines. I don't know exactly what that means, but I, I appreciate it anyway. 
Oh, I think I think he means. Uh, uh, what do we usually type between double lines, Josh? Ah, uh, yes. Spoiler. Got it. <laughs> double lines. Appreciate it. That's hey, Josh, an inside thank you, joke. Steve Best. I want to get some one. Steve, all the regulars have been have been giving today. If you are a new person, you've never donated to this channel. I will mail you a sticker if you get on there right now and uh, match or beat Steve Best donation of nine ninety nine. I will mail you. These ORM stickers are hot off the press. My merch manager, Sophia, just made them happen. What do you think about that? I mean, that's what else. What else could viewers ask for than uh, amazing coverage? We saw somebody hand Kenson what looked to be something that he drenched over his head to cool him off. Is that allowed? We got some water boys out here. Not oh, water boys. Race official water boys, or are we just talking? Casual spectators just handing water to the racers. Uh, not official. Oh. I can say that. Fair enough. So we've got VJ coming into the second rig. VJ full send as he jumps out to the rings, goes right to the net, and then skips through to the finish. Garcia. That, we've got Ryan Kempson about seven seconds behind him. Put this in here. And Matt Davis on stream. <laughs> We've got Woodsy on the rig as he navigates through, swinging through without too much of an issue. And we have these guys coming in from the finish of their first lap, first of three, as they go up and over the vertical cargo net. Garcia! Garcia's following him, Matt. Don't worry. I got him, buddy. I got it, dude. I got it. Put it. Put your phone in here. I got it. Put your phone in there. So VJ out into the second lap over the short walls. I'm going to mute Matt's mic because we're catching some wind. But let me just shout out a couple people. Dr. L. Dr. Laura Pence of the Get Curious podcast. Crap, Dr. L. I'm sorry. I got the, t the title of that probably wrong. With a hefty donation, she is demanding a sticker as we see VJ go through the first rig on his second lap, cruising through without too much of an issue. Dr. L uh, states that buying the sticker is the same as buying Bitcoin. I believe that's right. However, sticker value will not drop 30% the next time Elon Musk is on Saturday Night Live. We see Ryan Kempson come through the second, uh, the first rig without too much of an issue, followed very closely behind by Ryan Atkins, who is back out on course. And then uh, next up, we got Jason Wong, $10 donation, also looking for a sticker as well. Guess I'm going to have to mail a bunch of stickers. Guess you're going to have to mail some stickers, but the good news is these donations will help pay for that postage. No All matter right. how we have, uh, we have our guy down there at the, uh, at the rig? I mean, it's the thing. Oh, we got Tam covering the rig. We see Woodsy coming through here. Let's kick back to Riker for our favorite part of the course, the running section, where they navigate not just the sands of Jacksonville Beach, but the pedestrians, the beachgoers, uh, possible beach volleyball courts. Who knows what else? No, Daniel awesome. Litter, again, Tam yeah, Buck, go for a sticker. Appreciate the donation, man. The stickers will be coming your way. You can slowly walk down there. They just, they just headed out to the bucket, so you got a minute. All right, we've got Garcia <laughs> with his new, uh, with, his, with his gimbal finally. Shoot out the gimbal in the guy's hands for running. So Daniel, Iowa sticker to who else? We'll get you that information afterwards, Matt. Okay. Yeah, Dr. L. Definitely, from definitely NFT, buddy. All the way, buddy. Terry Smith, yes, you can get new RM stickers. You know what? Anybody right now, anybody that gives right now, new, old, Get some amazing ORM stickers hot off the press. We'll send you a black one and a white one. How about that? They're round. They're beautiful. The old ones were rectangle. When you bought those stickers, round wasn't quite as hip. So Peter Dabos keeping us up to date. Five seconds from Ryan Kempson to Ryan Atkins off of the last rig as they head out into the running section. Woodsy's not too far behind either. I'm not going to go ahead and say anybody has this race locked up right now. VJ has a, a good lead and is looking strong with his running. 
VJ prides himself as being a short course uh, savant. We saw him take the 3K at Obstacle Course Racing's World Championships, or sorry, the North American Championships in 2019. He's also made note that he is coming for the OCRWC short course title at Stratton, Vermont in 2021 as well. A few more donations coming in, Matt. Looks like you're going to be spending the day at the post office. Jonathan Crawford didn't mean to sound like a complaining old man. Appreciate seeing any live event with a $5 donation. Jonathan, of course, no harm, no foul, my friend. Also good to help keep everybody updated. Benjamin Pena adding to the gimbal, adding to the gimbal rabbit fund for $14.99. And uh, Tommy Davidson for $20. Bucks. Also, I loved you on In Living Color. What's that? I loved you on In Living Color, Tommy Davidson. <laughs> so these guys are all out on the running section of the course. They'll be doing the bucket carry down the end. And then uh, when they return, we've got Mike Garcia staged up at rig number two. We got Matt over at the uh, the end of the line here. So we got VJ finishing the bucket when Kipson and Atkins are halfway on their turn on the bucket. So he's got a good lead. I'm going to run with Kimpson and Atkins because they're more of a battle there. And I teach Terry how to donate, Josh. Terry, the uh, the donate option is it's like the super sticker option. If you're on the app, I believe they call it a super sticker, and you can donate and send a custom message right along with it as well. Ricky, ten dollars and one cent for the initial offering of ORM coin <laughs> or, or Matt coin. I would go with ORM coin. That's that would be. That would be what I'd want to do. So, again, appreciate all the uh, contributions. Just really appreciate everybody jumping on and watching. Almost 300 viewers on the YouTube. If you are not currently a subscriber, uh, shameless plug for Matt. He is almost at 4.4, 4, uh, 4,400 subscribers. Right now he's at 4.39. So will you be the lucky 4,400th subscriber? Uh, if you will. I'll double it up and throw you a sticker too. I don't know what that sticker will be, but you'll get something. So Ian Hosick saying, give Riker a raise, making great calls on the fly. The ability to run at the pace that these guys are running at and commentate at the same time. Riker doing double and triple duty. Also winning the relay race today. Most valuable uh, employee today, that's for sure. I'm undefeated in Hilda Bat races. Undefeated. You're going to add that to your race resume, my friend. So we've got the men coming up to rig number two on their second lap. Should be there in just a moment or two. As you can see from the camera perspective now. Lindsay's out cheering on. Ryan? We got about an eight second gap. Ryan. Ryan keeping himself cool, as we heard from Ian earlier. Evaporative cooling? Was that, was that the scientific term? So you got Lindsay going right beside him, cheering him on. Look at that toss. The accuracy. So as we kick over to the second rig, we see VJ coming through for a second time. Skipping right through without too much of an issue. We have Ryan Atkins coming. We have Ryan. So we got Ryan coming up for the rig. I got uh, I got VJ here. Okay, we're yeah, gonna watch Ryan go through this. Little choppy, but I'm assuming he's through. Let's go. Let's go kick over to VJ who's in first place. While we do that, Gabby, thanks for broadcasting. Gabby, thanks for tuning in and for the ten dollar donation. Hey. Trinity and Kona, those are the names of puppy dogs, perhaps. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and for the ten dollars as well. And then James Schisler. Go make the men and women finale posters later for Matt. Just conducting business as it happens. Charlotte Engelman with a great donation of 20 bucks. Kick over to Matt's camera. Matt, who you got there? I got Ryan Atkins. Wow. Jack, I hope you got some good pictures of me too. About 20 seconds behind, it looks like. 
It was about 12 before he hit that wall. Yeah, I'm going to call it 20 seconds. Here's Kempson right behind him. Can we go back here? I got Kempson right on his heels. Yes, sir. Kempson wants this badly, I saw in his face. This is the last lap. Does he have enough left? Does he have enough left? Where was the lead switch, by the way? Here's Woodsy coming around. Let's go, Woodsy. I didn't, did I didn't see the lead switch. If I had to guess, I'm guessing it's, it was on the run or near the bucket. But we got VJ coming through rig number one, the Kempson rig. We'll kick over to Tam here and see if we can get a, an idea on timing. While we do that, Brent George, thank you for the donation. Much appreciated, my friend. I definitely want to go back and look at the footage later and see when that that pass happened. I thought he had a comfortable lead there. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see uh, a lead for Atkins change or Atkins push into the second place spot. What pass are you talking about? Looks like we have Atkins in second over Kempson. Is that right? Yeah, he passed him on the run back um, from the bucket carry. So put the hammer down on the run. Atkins, one of the smartest racers we have. He, he, he knows when to turn them jets on. So they're out on the run for the third attempt. Atkins is just coming off of rig number two. Probably 20-ish seconds behind VJ, perhaps. That's rig number one. Rig number one, sorry. Let's catch up here while these guys are running. Dustin Needham, thank you for the donation, Mr. Benton. Thank you as well for the donation. You guys are uh, the real MVPs here. If I had the meme, I would put it up. But appreciate you guys supporting the coverage. It helps us do more events like this and send Matt to more tropical locations. I believe we're going to have him live at the Indiana Beast later this year. Uh, as I know, Matt has always wanted to head out to Indianapolis. Uh, Adam <laughs> Adam Mullenkopf, thank you, my friend, for the, uh, the $14.99 donation. Appreciate it. We have exactly a 20 second gap between Atkins and BJ. And Atkins taking a little look over his shoulder while Nick deftly navigates around these young OCR fans building sandcastles and building uh, small effigies to these amazing athletes out on the beach today. Leah Snyder, $20 donation for the first ORM Ultra Health 12 hour Hildevat event. I don't know what any of that means, but I appreciate it. Jason Constantino, the $10 donation. What's great about all these donations is you're going to make Matt do the one thing he doesn't like to do, and that's go back and rewatch all of his content. Uh, <laughs> follow up by sending out all of these great stickers. What you might have to do as a, a friendly reminder is maybe just send Matt a message on Instagram and say, hey, I donated. No, just wait and wait. Just wait till the race is over, guys. I think YouTube will actually tell me the list and then i'll go back and get addresses i'll figure it out i'll get my merch manager to help me out we'll, we'll 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 sort it for sure we'll take care of it we got uh mario noting that mr roca himself ryan atkins looking like randy the late randy macho man savage well i like it we, we need we somebody. Have, i, I want to know how kempson's looking because now now we got now it's like die time do or die time Now we got nobody. Now we got nobody. Now we got you back at the start line, my friend. Well, I'm not at the start. I'm at the uh, first have, rig slash uh, oh, hoist point. So that looks to be a good 20-second differential between Atkins and Kempson right now. Kempson with a little bit of a labored stride. Yeah, I think he – we'll talk to him afterwards, but it looks as though he uh, – what's the – what's the, we turn, hit the Nas too soon, Josh? Did he did he burn a match too soon? Is that what you're saying, Matt? Well, I, I think he I think he hit the Nas too soon. That is a, a classic blunder. That can cost you some pinks if you're doing that. We got Atkins coming out as soon as Kempson goes into the bucket. So he's a whole carry, noting, whole carry ahead. This is why Atkins soaked his shirt, keeping that temperature low. And he's cruising, man. He's he's got the stride, the hair is flowing, and uh he is moving on to the final section of the course. D dare we say, look at the fitness. 
Well, we reserve that for only the best possible moments in OCR. I don't know. I don't know if we're at that point. When I see, when I saw that beautiful man just run by with that stride, that was an absolute look at the fitness moment. All right, you should you should trademark that one. Throw it on a shirt. Uh, Lan asking, do beach goers count as obstacles? Well, they do. They're right in the course, so uh, you've got to navigate around these guys. But we got Kempson coming in, final stretch of the final run, the third loop of this event. And uh, it's do or die time. This is where he's got to unload. And uh, again, to, to steal a sports cliche, leave it all out on the course if he's going to catch up. So in just a moment or so, we should probably have VJ and Atkins coming into that final rig. Do we have a uh, we have final rig cam on? Um... Tam, is Tam over there with final rig or no? We got uh, Mike Garcia over there. I am I am at the start of the gauntlet again. I see VJ come in my way. Okay. Tam is here too. So we got extra coverage and we're chasing him. Tam could get the coverage right here at the rig and I'll run with him towards you, Matt. Sounds good, sounds good. Then I'll back up a little bit. I wish they were doing this axe. We're running right by the axe throw. I'm gonna go ahead, take the camera off me for now. Yeah, I'm running toward the uh, the final rigaroo. <laughs> Sounds like Matt is leaping, possibly small children and or sandcastles. Star. We got VJ coming in and getting out of that second rig for the third and final time without any issue. We got Kempson just a little ways away. Second. Second. We got Atkins coming in. A little bit of a choppy signal there. So let's take a look at Kempson as Nick Riker runs with him. I gassed, I gassed out. I can't run anymore. I gassed out. <laughs> All right, I've got I've got VJ approaching this final rig. If you want to switch cameras back to the uh, that battle for second and third, I'll go ahead and cover this. If Garcia can go back and catch second and third, got it. So here's VJ's attempt. I got him. Second and third. The rig. Stay with it. Stay with it. VJ doubling up this time around with his uh, handholds just for extra security. He does have the time to take it easy. It's through. VJ gave a look. VJ gave a look, ladies and gentlemen. He definitely gave a look, and Atkins was not far behind him. That can only be described as what? As in, come get some. Atkins made that look silly. That was three grips for Atkins to the finish there. I'm going to get these guys if I can. Uh, no, wait, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's go ahead and get Kempson in his final rig. Let's get out of his way here, and then we'll go get those guys. So as Kempson comes in in the third position here in our semifinals of the Pro Men, I want to thank all of you, as Peter calls out, all 300 plus viewers that are out there. Ricky's saying VJ celebrating early. Finals are tomorrow. That's right. Act like you've been there. Is that I believe that was Barry Sanders' quote. Act as, act as if you've been there before. But Atkins threw the final rig, the toilet paper holds. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast, folks. Oh, missed the you kick, but hit it with the hand. Did, you, did you catch that, Jax? Josh? Uh, Jax did catch it. It looked like he hit his hand pretty hard on that. His foot missed the bell. So while he was still in the air, he went back and socked it with his hand. That was some pretty quick thinking. There's George, everybody, up there. And now Ryan Kempson is, looks like he's running into the beach. I got Ryan Kempson headed for the ocean. He's just going straight to cool down. He did cross the finish line first, correct? Yes. Ryan Woods decided to throw some axes. <laughs> he's just straight to the ocean. Thanks, Woodsy decides 
Have you been filming this whole time? I thought you were part of it. It's okay. It's okay. Atkins already disappeared. He went to go get cool, it looks like. Maybe he went to go. We got Woodsy bringing up the rear and the crowd cheering with him. I have two camera guys on him. Let's make it, let's make it a third. All cameras on Woodsy. All eyes on Woodsy. Zinger from Lindsay in the background. Woodsy through the finish line. Securing fourth place and a five hundred dollar payday. Oh man. Vegeta, come on. So, into tomorrow's finals for the men, the pro men, we've got DJ Jones and Ryan Atkins. I would just like to point out that my bracket is still intact for the men. There's hope for me after all. But as somebody said in the chat, never count out Ryan Atkins. As we see Woodsy getting a little uh, little cool down. These guys are out running. It's 84 up in New Hampshire. I can only imagine what the temperature is in Jacksonville Beach currently. Do you want to ask Ricky yeah. what it was about four hours ago? Yeah, yeah. If Ricky could uh, just let us know in the chat, what was the temperature? What was the temperature in Fort Lauderdale uh, four hours ago? That's an inside joke, and if you don't get it, You'll have to join the Discord. The website is bit.ly forward slash okay. Yeah. I think uh, you know the comment about him celebrating too early. I don't think I don't have a problem. Like it's like you win. Uh, it's like you win the playoffs. You're still allowed to cheer, right? Yeah, you got to make it to the champion. You got to win the championship. Yeah, but, there's, you know, there's always time to saying, take. He's that. saying I made a statement today, and I think he did. He's showing that he's still uh, super fast, really good at obstacles, and when he goes against the best, he he shows up. I got no issue with that. Matt is a big uh, old school sports fan, which means that uh, he loves he loves these takes. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I want to see I want to see if I can get a word with maybe maybe I'll get a word with with Lindsay Webster. Let's hear it. Let's get it. Let's get a word with Scott the Fane Knowles. Scott, you didn't race today. I did not. How are you feeling? Okay. I feel good. Yeah. I'm drinking the free drinks because I didn't pay to do anything. Do you know Ryan Woods? I do. What, what do you think about his uh, performance today? I think that uh, Ryan Solidly Woods fourth place. was hot and he uh, got Pretty a good, good. Got, had a good fourth place uh, come to the race. Yeah, come back. Can we look at his body, though? I mean, that's, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching, you dream, and six. You dream of being this, uh, this cut when you're 41 years old. Am I right? 42. And me and Ryan are the same age, but it's not working the same for me. You should try more beer and wine. See, and I don't red, drink. Maybe red that's meat, no problem. Red meat and wine can be set. It's the, red, it's the red wine. It's the red wine and red meat. That's what does it. Well, these boys are feeling it out in the heat today. Third place out of the runs. Third Ryan. Third Ryan. Third Ryan. Third Ryan. Third Ryan. Good. I should be like in the money. Scott, that's that's the kind of that's the kind of insight we we, we bring you down here for. I mean, you're third on the rounds. You're third on the rounds. I know you want to do that again. All right, Josh. You want to? Josh, I said, hey. You want to? You want to wrap up our uh, our semifinals and uh, get everybody excited for tomorrow? Hey, can talk to Gibson first. Can I talk to Gibson first. Can we talk to you real quick? Yeah. Josh, you you with me, buddy? I'm with you, man. I think Josh went on a bathroom break. Woo! Kempston. Yo. Uh, how are you feeling lap two there? It looks like that's maybe where he passed you on the on the second bucket. Uh, yeah. Um, I knew my only chance against Atkins was to be ahead of him and put a gap on him because he's just so consistent and strong and uh, wanted to stay with VJ, but VJ just so fit and I blew up real hard. Um, but they're, they're both monsters. You know, I gave it all. I had, I had nothing left. That was it. It was fun, though. Cerveza time? Cerveza? No. Downwinder Ghost. 
the kite surfing athletic here. All right. See you later. Hi, guys. Hi, Josh. You want to wrap it up? Let's wrap it up, my friend. Get excited for tomorrow. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the brackets here. So for the women, just to recap, Nicole Miracle was in a strong lead through a good amount of the second round. Unfortunately, looked like suffered a lower body injury that we do not have any updates on. Uh, we will try and update you, but of course, we'll let her make sure that she communicates the, uh, the right way to us. But we've got Rebecca Hammond moving into the semifinal against Lindsay Webster, uh, and then Alex Walker taking the third place position. For the men, as you just saw, Ryan Atkins, who sat in the third position for a good chunk of the time, made his move on lap number two, uh, and then moved into the second place, and will be racing one VJ Jones for the finale tomorrow. I think we All might right. get a quick word with VJ. Quick, quick word with VJ. All right, Matt. Again, move the camera like less than eight inches away from your face. There you go, buddy. I just turned it around. I'm not turning around again. So let's do this. Let's get out of their shot. And let's talk to VJ. VJ. Yo. Oh, we selfie camming? We're selfie camming. Who am I talking buddy. to? Josh Chase and the whole world. Oh, great. So you, when you when you hit the bell and you you, you landed, I said, uh, VJ, give us a little face that just said, uh, what? <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that the same thing you were going for? Um, I don't know. I was just... Uh, Spur of the moment, I felt really good, and I just wanted to say, like, I'm ready. You know, I'm here, I'm competitive, and um, I'm ready for tomorrow. For now, much. now Atkins, uh, you went out, I I'd say, at a pretty good clip. Atkins did what he kind of does, which is steady. He waited. 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 And that's the thing. It's like, I can't beat him at his game, so I have to play my own. So, so, so what's that game tomorrow? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really... It's, it's going to be interesting. You know, I've been practicing my sustained running, doing a lot of like tempo and threshold work. So I feel confident to pick it up in the end. But is that as strong as Atkins can pick it up in the end? So what I played in this one is I knew, like, I just had to finish top two. Um, but I went out hot. And I went out as hot as I could for as long as I could. And it stuck for surprisingly long. It felt good most of the way. And, and then I started feeling that first race kick in um, uh, halfway through that third lap started to slow down a little bit but i was i maintained pace the whole first two laps so what i i think i might have to do but i'm not sure um it's go out hot tomorrow and and burn as bright as i can for as long as i can and then when i fade hope that it isn't too soon and hope that it sticks long enough so that atkins doesn't close in because we know his strength he's going to be strong tomorrow as he was in the first round like He's, he's going to be fresh, so I just got to hope that my recovery is just as good. All right. Pretty much. So, yeah. Yeah, guys. Good luck, BJ. Great showing today, man. Thank you. I, I'm working hard for it. I'm trying. All right, Josh. There you Thanks. have it. There you have it. I'm su I'm actually surprised to hear him say what he just said. I, yeah. I think when, when these guys try to shine brightly against Atkins, that's when they fade. I'm surprised he didn't say he would go out more conservatively. But, hey, what do I know? Well, I think, uh, I think it's refreshing, you know, when you interview a, an NFL athlete or a pro baseball player, right? It's like, well, we just got to play better as a team. I think it's good to hear some, <laughs> it's good to hear some solid strategy uh, at these athletes. And uh, it just shows you that they are, and again, pardon the cliche, students of the game, right? He knows his racing ability, just like he knows Atkins' ability. So he knows what he what is expected of him if he wants to perform and win tomorrow. And uh, it's going to be an exciting race. I'm looking forward to it. Me too, my friend. Tell everybody what time they can catch us tomorrow. Off the top of my head, I don't think I know. What is it? All right, a.m. Eleven a.m. We'll. Uh, it'll be on Instagram. We'll let you know. I think it's eleven. Nope, it's nine. Nope, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody tell us. I'll tell you in just a second. Please hold. The uh, updated schedule for tomorrow is uh, men and women start at nine a.m. Women first again. Men at nine thirty. So keep it here. Sunday morning brunch with Obstacle Racing Media on YouTube. Again, thanks, everybody, for the donations. If you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We need that 4,400th member. Hopefully that will be you. And uh, if you want to talk about the amazing race today, in the comments or in the notes for the show below is the link to the OCR Discord. Join up. If you're not a member today, it's the place to be. Maddie, great job today. Go put some sunscreen on. Go get yourself some dunks. I'll see you tomorrow morning, man. See you, buddy.